on YouTube, this is I, I the Great again, today I with our next video, today I'll be introducing you to my best friend, okay so today we are going to roll one, and we are going to talk about who is God, what is God, where is God, and all of them things there, you know, who is God, you know, that we are going to deal with today, so we first we are going to roll it, so, if we get into it, shares brain food, power of marijuana, marijuana and spirituality. See, I think I'm gonna do a part two for marijuana, like the spiritual connection. A lot of people seem to think that God is this um, great man in the sky sitting and watching everybody like oh and judging everybody like yeah. First thing you need to understand is that God is no judge. Humans alone judge people. God no judge. It's high to me as a, they reach a level of divine um, qualities. Why are you a judge? You know make no sense. Humans alone we have low consciousness judge people. Not even the animals they don't judge each other. But humans do. Simply mean tell you something about well, tell the masses something about themselves. Some of them animals they are smarter than them. You know see it? Yeah. Um so God no, God is in me, God is in you, God is in the water, God is in the tree, God is in everything, everything is God. God is the essence, he is the life force, he is the prana, we run through all living beings, it makes the plants grow, God is in the plants, where the plants grow, what is causing it to grow is the energy, it is the divine energy that runs through all of us, every living thing, crystals, um, rocks, the earth, the whole universe, that is God, God is the, the life force. That um, allows everything to be active, to be in motion, you know? Look on the ocean. The ocean in a motion, currents in the sky, currents, the, the wind um, of currents, you know? You know, yesterday, um, they were on the highway, and I see a, um, a lot of birds, right? They were flying, at, um, great synchronicity in it, it was so beautiful, and it's like, I think to myself, like, I said, why the fuck they were fly? So, like, the way they were fly, like, them. They can easily slam into each other, you know, but it's it not happening. It's like happening in such a, a, a way that none of the birds are not crash into each other and they might move so fast and not, you know, I don't know if you know if you never see it, but yeah, them birds escape. But the only thing the birds might do is just them, them might ride the wave, they might ride the current of the wind. That's all they might do. And they not fight against life, you find that life becomes. Um, Less stressful and more, you know, more peaceful. You know, ride the wave of life, you know, ride your own wave, follow your own vibration. Everybody have a wave, everybody have a different path to follow, right? So you can't look on another man's path and say, Oh, yeah, never follow that person because you see him do that and make money for money. No, you have your own path. <laughs> you have to swim with your current, you have to swim with your wave. You can't swim against the wave, you have a drum. <laughs> it's simple as that, you know. And the same way I go to birds, they can't fly against the wind. They can't fly against the wind current. I'm gonna fly with the wind current, you know. <laughs> and just I go with the, the wind, man. It's like, so yeah, that is human being need to understand that. So yo, sometimes we just worry too much about everything, and uh, while I try to change things, and human's biggest problem is patience. When I check it out, a lot of we don't have no fucking patience. We don't know what it is. We want things to happen now, and that's not how it works. If you plant a seed, it now go. If you plant a seed today, it now go. You now go tomorrow and see it have fruits on the tree. No, you know, go so. You know, in, the, in a, this realm, you have plant the seed and wait for the seed grow. You, you know, it, it just not make no sense. It, it not happen that way in that realm. Yeah. It not happen instantly. Things take time in this realm. I have to understand that. That a human not get it. They, they expect say, them for rush and they pan. Yes, and they're in a competition with everybody around them. <laughs> like, where, where is the competition? You don't need, a, you need a no competition with nobody except yourself. Like, you're the only person in a competition with. So, you have to get that out here and know, say, yo, we are all one man. The same energy will run through me, run through the dog, run through the tree, run through you, run through everybody, pan, like, through the whole fucking universe. It's what the God force is what is keeping the universe alive. That is God. God is no. Being in the sky looking at man people, no. Yeah, you have higher dimensional beings that exist in a different planes, different planets, but there's no God, you know. We are all gods. We are all growing up to, you know, like we have the potential to be gods. Every single fucking being in the universe 
in God because it have the divine energy flowing right through you know and the divine energy connected to every single fucking thing in this universe believe it or not you are connected you are you are the microcosm of the macrocosm now you are a solar system in yourself you know you are like I thought you are a whole system <laughs> You have an inner sun, you have a sun, you have a sun in the center of your system, your own inner sun, your solar plexus. It, it, that is your inner sun. You see? It? So, so above, so below, you have your sun inside too. We are burn. You are feeling the sun, you have your inner sun, your solar plexus. Um, research it. So, it, yeah, man, God is just the energy flowing through all living things, man. That's why you see, if it hurt any form of life, you hurt God. If you hurt yourself, you hurt God. If God wanted somewhere to hide, you know, he would hide in a place where man would have lost look for him. And you know which part man would have lost look for God? Not himself. <laughs> they might look everywhere else for God and realize hey, this is where it is, inside. God is no external source. It is you. I have to realize that. So I tell me some people just wake up, realize the divinity in you, and <laughs> realize you're connected to everything around you. And honestly, life gets easier. Like you get, start to see a bigger picture. Everything connected, you start to love more, open up your heart because you are everything. Everyone around you just a reflection of yourself. Eh? Like everything around you. It's just you, <laughs> you know, experiencing different lives, different persons, different you know animals. I just you. It is just you. The universe inside you is it you. But I think it is the universe and then it is you. Then play with the words. Watch your words, the words. Then play with the words. You have to realize that. Nothing is by coincidence. Every single thing with them do in other in other realm, yeah. This is a reason because them, 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 the people them run the whole shit, you know. Them have knowledge, them teeth out the scrolls and all the fucking thing them they in Egypt and them places. Them know the thing, them get the knowledge, them teeth it and keep it to themselves. Besides, I saw them get for, for who own the world, forget for run the world. Because them teeth out the knowledge where we create black people and then they go use it back against we. Electricity, we invent we fucking. We realize the electricity, the free electrons in the, in the era flow around and fucking um, harness the electricity, build pyramids. Fucking Egypt was a great civilization with too much in um, pyramids and and electrical devices. The place that don't have a free electrons. Where I think Tesla built the pyramid, um, the, the Tesla pyramid for unlimited energy. That is what the Egyptians used to do and Mesopotamia. And Atlantis a free flowing fucking technology. Great civilization. You modern humans not reached that yet. <laughs> them people are they smart and they're wise. Cause then they reach but then they realize that I'm a god. They realize that. If you, if you see yourself as a human, you never ever do things where God do. Because you're just a human, you see yourself as a human forever. And you never ever do bad things. Because you see yourself as a human. Stop seeing yourself as a human, you're not a human. Remember. You yeah, experience a human life, that is not you. Realize the true you. you. Search it, find it. Your true self wants to reveal itself to you. But you have to be willing to see it and find your true self. Right? So God is in everything, man, and realize that. The moment you realize, you have the power over everything in the earth. Right? But not power um, having to do with dominance, you know, but just living in your true, living in your power, you know, you feel better. So. Knowing that people are God, God is everything, man. God is no divine being sitting up there judging anybody and sending them to LRM if they do good or bad, no. <laughs> and I say, it goes. so respect one love that was about God, you know. So realize the divinity in you, man, and realize the divinity in everyone else around you and everything else around you. You know, life is beautiful. Check it. One love, peace out. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the Journey YouTube channel.